Uh, hello guys, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again with another Legends of Runeterra video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a match that I had earlier, piloting a kind of interesting deck. This, this is actually one of our viewers by the name of Tenkua Tao Chukua. I never pronounced it right, but I believe it's his name and his uh, native language, but I won't. I usually just go by a 10, it helps out a lot. Anyway, he was mucking around with a list, which is pretty much your standard Nautilus kind of stuff going on here and there. You've got your pretty standard Shadow Isles cards, your pretty standard Build Jordan cards. Well, you know, we've got Hired Gun, we've got Drow of Depths, all that kind of good stuff. But the most interesting part of the deck was his concept, his idea about pick a card where in the later half of the game, which is why I think it would be the best fit for it, you'll be able to refill that hand alongside Nautilus and draw into a lot of sea monsters. Now this current list doesn't actually feature much sea monsters, but I think the concept was kind of interesting and there could be some potential for the future to try and adjust this list. But anyway, uh, the main take from this is that we had a pretty fun game coming up. It was a really interesting match. I'm just going to be sharing the one game today because it was quite a long one. And you know, with the patch around the corner, I'm a bit hesitant on sharing some really in-depth stuff as I normally do. So it was our off-meta Sunday as well. So I made for, you know, we're mucking around with uh, interesting decks, uh, playing some off-meta stuff, you know, like Lucian Sejuani and stuff like that. It was really cool. And so I had a lot of fun with this game. I really wanted to highlight it because, you know, I think... It's good every now and then to remember to have fun when you're playing Runeterra, and I had a ton of fun playing this game. Anyway, I hope you guys can enjoy the game. Thanks for your support, as always. You guys have been awesome. Um, dude, it's like insane. I can't believe it. Like, you know, we're just out here making Runeterra videos, and you guys have just been hanging out, and it's been real cool. Enjoy. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, it'd be for the late game. It'd be pretty risky using it earlier. So this is pretty much like a control deck, so I won't keep any of these cards. Spirit, not my fist. No, 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 no. Your lesson begins. The order rewards its faithful. Okay, so I want to give this vulnerable to the Eye of the Dragon, because that card's annoying. Get bloody, get paid. Oh, it gives it to the strongest. Oh well, it's fine. What I needed to do last turn was like pass, honestly. There was no value in playing Thorny Toad really at all, other than like slowly chipping it down for the toss. I mean, I'll give, I'll give vulnerable to an elusive unit, that's fine. I'm always up for a round or two. You suck. Hold it, partner. I need to deal with this now. I must get out of here. Another time where I feel like I should have passed it to him. I'm assuming it's like game so you can toss monsters in. It'll work later in the game. Uh, for two mana, what can you do about me? Let me see. I need to find an answer to TF pretty quickly. So I'm going to glimpse 
Well, he can't usually usually react. I think you need like make it rain. Not bad. Decent amount of toss here. I'm scared to use it a little bit though. This is my chance for clearing Twist of Fate. And like most of his board, to be honest. I'll make corpses of a ball. You son of a bitch. You got me. Oh, the ordering was wrong here. Taking two damage for free. It's fine. I'll get one back. I was meant to use the um bile feast during combat as well. A bit of a mistake. <laughs> See if that one point of damage becomes relevant. Now might not be the worst time to use pick a card. Still a little bit scary though. I don't think we use it quite yet. He wants to do strong things. I should be aiming to try and do strong things as well. I'm just gonna swing. I'm just gonna swing with all my dudes. And I will probably throw float mana. I'll probably use Jess in this turn. Son of this a one. This is pretty good tosses. I guess there's no point to ever play Jodas in this game after we've already reached deep. Clear your head. Let your instinct speak. Okay. What is that was kind of a weird play, but that's fine.
Jesus. At least you probably didn't steal anything too valuable. We've already discarded two devourers. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can play on uh, Nautilus this turn. Who's on top of the Should I have to give it to GP? Don't stand in my way. You cannot escape. Does not pity winter. Speed ordering. <laughs> Anxiety. Yeah, I'm trying to like play the best I can just to try and do goodbye at Tenkwa. That was weird how like he immediately went for the glimpse beyond there. I don't think that was correct. Like the way I attack with the spiders should give away information that I'm looking for him to like take a weird value block so I can play Withering Whale. But like if he assumes I run Withering Whale, which is pretty most likely. Like that was my plan at least. It might be pick a card time because I know I'm not going to hit the Devourers, but I'm probably going to hit like if there's ever a time for me to be playing pick a card, it's kind of roughly about now. Roughly, I say roughly. Boy, I don't know. So we always like, yeah, shuffling the jettison. With no Nautilus, I don't think we should. I'll be playing Nautilus to the field. I'm not going to hit because there's one at the moment. At the moment, there's the one C monster in the deck, possibly if my opponent didn't steal it. So I guess, like, realistically... Because Nautilus is going to shuffle them back in. So I can see how it's pretty cool when... Once Nautilus is on the field, you've shuffled the dudes back in, you play pick a card, you cycle through your deck to find the sea monsters. But at the moment... There's no sea monsters in there. I'm not really sure what I'm looking to draw into. But I'm going to play it before Nautilus flips. Because if I played it later in, it'd be good if we had like other cheaper sea monsters as well. So then like we could play them for zero mana. But we've only got the Devourer Adepts, which costs a bit. It's a bit annoying that we uh, drew that. So that's going to be Fleeting. I don't think he will bring back Fleeted Monsters. Okay. I can't play both Devourer and Nautilus this turn. Oh, it's four less, isn't it? Oh, we can, we can. So we do this. Roughly, I say. So, roughly. Roughly. Yeah, I, I actually forgot that uh, Nautilus makes them pl cheaper by that much. Don't take this. You can take Jettison. You son of a... <laughs> oh, dude, what am I... I could have shuffled the fish back in. That would have been a five head play if like before his sleight of hand, I shuffled the fish back in. That would have been super five head, but I don't think that far ahead because I'm really bad at this game. I was really hoping to play this turn. <laughs> Dude, sometimes you're Yugi, sometimes they're Yugi. Sometimes I'm Joey as well. Most of the time I'm Joey. 
Man, you suck. I've been outplayed this game. And I've outplayed myself as well. Tell you what, a single copy of Malkar would be nice. Stack in the eye. Go away, man. This guy's toxic. He's incredible. He's gonna flip his um just a fate. What is gained when you return malevolence? Lots of sea monsters. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. So, what do we do this turn? I really like to be holding back these for um, one of these for GP. It's our removal. Attempting to devour Twisted Fate makes sense. He may deny it, then I'll use the grasp of the Undying. the serpentine we can aim we can aim to like make him deck himself out hello there sea monsters going on a rampage right about now you suck Five head would have been using the grasp of the undying on twisted fate. And then Yeah. Oh, I'm not thinking far ahead, dude. I'm making such weird plays that make no sense. Yeah, I should have used the uh, grasp of the undying on the twisted fate. I used a more expensive resource in a unit I didn't have to. It does amp Nord's passive, but we only have Devour of the Depths to abuse that mechanic. Yeah, yeah, okay, I need to deny that. I've got blockers for it at least. That egg. Did it move? I guess we're swinging. That doesn't make any sense. If you you are you not blocking this? Is that why? I guess he values his black market merchant quite a bit. I don't play much Nautilus. Fearsome. I don't even know what Gangplank does when he levels up. Attack, deal one damage to all enemies in the Nexus. Cool. I used to get to use my mana on something now. What? I won't pay your tide. Yes, you will. Pay the tithe. Oh, yeah, right. I 
this will actually kill the spider, which negates this attack completely. Um, that will of Ionia was really... Really weird. We're about to deck out. Stun. This can keep the cycle going. A little bit. So he's going to, um... He has a Devourer of Destiny's deck that's a 7 set, like in his hand. It's a 7 7. So if this drops below 7, which it can't against any of these guys, he needs to block with GP. What the hell happens if he plays Devourer of Depths against my Norlis and I stun it? I don't know, but he has to block with GP. Unless he has a spell in hand. I could do some funny combat tricks. Which is not unlikely. It's definitely not unlikely. So I know I know what his last card is. Devour Depths. Shadow. I wonder why he didn't consider blocking this with GP and then It's okay. Did you already play a Devourer of Depths? Oh, did he? Oh, he picked a card. He must have shuffled that back in. No, but he played Sleight of Hand against me. And it was fleeting, so it was fleeting for him as well, wasn't it? Ah. Do I just, um... Yoink his GP. Let this just deal for to everything. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Is there any reason to do this before combat? like tossing cards but I kind of had to I need the life still try and kill him next turn break their legs off with you Good. The last card is Nautilus, isn't it? In our deck. So I have another Riptide there. Do I value um my life steal right now? I think I do kind of value getting the life steal off this turn. Because he top decks like I don't know anything. I think you can only Riptide enemies, can't you? You could Riptide Nort and have two cards in deck. Pretty sure Riptide's only on enemies. I think we might be winning. Let's see what this is. Stun an enemy. Forward, forward. 
mean, the open just works. What do I lose to if I... That was weird. That was a really weird game. <laughs> <laughs> 